Hey, what's going on, everyone? Naka here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. And as you guys can see, we're back on MW2IW4X today. And you already know we're going to be hitting some live trick shots today, boys. It's been far too long since I have. But as you guys can see, my MW2 actually looks a little bit different today. That's actually because I have a mod named Serpentine 1.6 loaded, as you can see in the top left. Basically, this is a mod menu designed for trick shotting by my boy Foxes, so that you can hit basically any trick shot you want in private match, like in your own game. And this is what I'm going to be using today. This menu costs like $15, I believe, but you can actually get a free version of it as well that just doesn't have private match functions. So if you guys are familiar with like as the lobbies, it'll basically be like a private match, but it'll say plus 500. It'll look like an online game. That's what the Serpentine menu is for. So yeah, Foxes gives out Serpentine 1.4 for free if any of you guys want to try out this menu. Or if you want to make it a private match menu like I have, it's going to cost like $15, like I said, I believe. I don't personally sell the menu though, so I'm going to be leaving Foxes link in the description if you guys want to hit him up for either the free one or if you want to buy the one I'm using in today's video. There's definitely more in the paid version, which is 1.6, but I highly suggest you guys try 1.4 first because it might have everything you need. You might not even need to buy it. But if that menu isn't cutting it for you and you guys do want to upgrade 1.6 is always available but yeah today basically instead of this being like a stream highlight trick shotting upload where i'm featuring a bunch of you guys and we hit a bunch of shots in the snr servers basically i'm just gonna be trick shotting in a private match by myself with a mod menu trying to hit the coolest shots i can for you guys and there's a catch to this video as well i'm actually gonna be hitting four trick shots total and each one is gonna be with a different default sniper from mw2 so like no custom guns no links or anything but we will be using the intervention barrett y2000 and m21 ebr and trying to hit some shots with each of them i actually already recorded this video i'm just doing the intro last but i can confirm all four shots i hit with six so you guys are going to want to see all of them but unfortunately i'm an idiot and i didn't realize i wasn't recording game sound for this video so you guys are just going to have to deal with my voice and the background music i really do apologize for that especially because my voice is nasally since i'm so sick right now but i can guarantee you that the shots in today's video make up for the no audio i promise i'm really happy with how they came out and i think you guys will be too so without further ado let's get into the mw2 iw4x trick shotting action all right so we're gonna be starting out with the first sniper which if you guys don't know i don't know how you wouldn't know but it's an event I know this menu is a little weird and it has the launches in the same thing, but that's just because it's an overkill menu. But yeah, we're going to be starting with the Intervention, then going on to the Barrett 50 cal, then the Y2000, and then finally ending with the M21 EBR. I have a lot of classes with Intervention, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the one I'm using. I know it's called Double Sniper, but it's not a Double Sniper class. I actually have a model as a secondary. I've literally never once in my life hit a model knack, like a model kitty knack, a model reload knack, none of them. So you know what? That's going to be my goal for today. For the intervention, I'm going to be playing on the most generic map with the most generic sniper, but I'm going to be hitting a shot that I've never hit before. So without further ado, let's load up private match. Got to throw on the gamer headset quick. There we go. As you guys can see in the bottom left, I'm using the Serpentine 1.6 menu, which is like a private match version of the Serpentine menu by Foxes, which if you guys don't know, is like the base of the milk bag menu that I used in my private match videos that I did before. All right, here, let me get up top to where I want a trick shot from, and then I'll show you guys some stuff this menu has to offer. So there's a quick menu with like fast mods, uh, slow motion, low gravity, a bunch of stuff like that. Kill cam only soft land, soft land normal, EB strength, save location. Just a bunch of other stuff like this. Oh yeah, in the host menu, there's a lag menu. Look how many lag options there are in here. There's actually a whole next page for it. And then there's also a gravity menu with a bunch of gravity options. So you can have like more air time. Prone spins, ladder spins, ladder bounces, bunch of crazy stuff like that. I don't know. This menu can do a whole lot of stuff. But I don't need it to do all that crazy stuff. All I really need to do is spawn in a bot. So how do I do that? Right there. Quick mods and then players menu, a miss foxes. And I'm going to move him to uh, save to crosshairs. All right, now that I got my bot there, let's see if I can hit a model knack. I literally don't know the timing at all. Yeah, this is gonna take me a while. Wait, 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 what's all this? I went in the binds menu, knack mod menu. Oh, actually guys, this is gonna be easier than I thought to hit the model knack. Nah, I'm just playing. There's a J spin menu, oh my God. Damn, there's a bunch of crazy menus in here. There's clash change, can swap, knack mod, C spin, J spin, cop, what is the copycat button menu? Wait, bot EMP bind? So let me turn that on quick. If I hit up d-pad oh there's an emp i think i'm gonna use that in a shot well boys i haven't got this knack one time yet i don't exactly know the timing at all oh there we go first try getting it okay okay i don't even remember the timing though to be honest oh yeah i forgot the most important part sorry if you guys thought i was gonna try to hit this legit without aimbot but i'm not hitting a model knack for my first one ever without aimbot you're gonna be fucked up if you think i'm trying to hit this without aimbot so here let me turn on strong aimbot real quick perfect and let's hit this model knack. I don't know how people do this one. This is definitely the hardest knack in MW2. No doubt about that. Come on now. Like, it just doesn't want to work at all. Oh my god. I don't think I've got it midair one time. I actually think I only got it that one time the whole round. All right, so it's right when the bullet goes back in is when I need to reload. Oh, okay. There we go. I got it again for the second time. Now that I know the timing. Wait, what if I reload knack to the model? And then reload knack out of that? I totally fucked up that shot really hard, but... Dude, I can get this model, uh, not the model knack, the intervention knack every time, but the model knack not even once. Like, what? 
Oh, there we go. Why is it so easy with the empty model, apparently? I'm gonna do a reload knack to reload knack. Watch this. What? No! I actually got it! And even with strong aimbot, it didn't hit. Oh, that's so bullshit. See, guys, strong aimbot isn't as crazy as you guys thought. It doesn't, like, just guarantee you'll hit. I shot, like, right there and it didn't hit, even though he was right there. Oh, I fucked up that shot. I got a double a daily, but I, like, walked off the edge. I gotta re-hit it with a model neck like I said I was gonna. But it is kind of cool. Okay, a little double a daily action. Oh, walked right off the edge. Hey, still a bullet cam. Not really, but let's pretend. I don't need any lag or gravity for this. I just want to be playing normal for this one, I think. Oh my god, no. How didn't that one hit? I kind of fucked it up a little bit, but come on. I'm getting robbed. No. Imagine I didn't fuck up. Oh my god, how doesn't that hit? I had to rage on that. I think I landed. I, like, most definitely landed, actually, but fuck it. Let's look at this, boys. Oh, come on. That would have been dope. Oh my god, yo. I'm so terrible at this knack. The only times that I get it are the times I mess it up. You know what? Maybe I'll switch it up and go from here. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Oh, let's go. Second try from this spot. I hit it perfectly. Hey, I knew I should have gone from there earlier. Oh, let's go. The infinite fade model reload knack over the shoulder. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. I don't know if I got a full over the shoulder or whatever, but that looks sick. All right, boys, I can get off high rise and I can get off the intervention. Time to move on to the Barrett on... Well, I don't know what map yet, actually. All right, now that I finally hit that shot with the intervention, we're going to be moving on to the Barrett. I actually have a class with it already. I got a Barrett, Stinger, and C4. I know this isn't a normal trick shot in class with it, but I'm going to see what I can do. I have an idea for a little combo. You guys are going to see it when I get in the game, but if it'll work, I'm not positive if it will, but if it will, this is going to be a banger class. I needed a map with a little bit of height to do this shot, so I decided to pick Overgrown, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop into a private match all right i spawned in a bot i'm gonna save the position like right there yeah that looks good all right now that i got the bot there let me set up a class change bind real quick for uh the class that i'm using with the barrett which is class four okay now that i got that i'm gonna get the armala insta swap glitch i need to pull out an equipment then instantly class change bind over oh i didn't hear the gunshot so i didn't get it hold on i gotta try it again oh there we go i finally got it down so now that i have the c4 mode in my hand i'm basically gonna shoot twice sprint out of it and oh yeah like that if i can shoot on this one's easier than the last one so i'm gonna use a lower aimbot i'm gonna have to do super close on this one if that's an option yeah super close there we go but yeah that's the whole shot really i don't know i kind of feel like i should add something else to it hold on let me go to the binds menu bot emp menu oh i knew i found this for a reason and bind the emp to up d-pad okay i think i got something now oh there we go okay i'm gonna shoot twice run oh that looks so sick actually i think i just hit it first try if i did this right it's gonna shoot a stinger in the kill cam instead of my barrett oh with the emp going off this is actually gonna look nasty okay shoot twice run glitch to pull it out oh there we go oh the emp doesn't show in kill cam and it didn't shoot the stinger but you can see that oh that emp going off in the sky looked dirty you know what i hit that so quick i'm gonna try to re-hit it one more time but if not i'm satisfied with that one honestly but if i could get it to shoot the stinger and kill cam that would be ideal oh there we go okay okay is the bot down there yes he is oh let's go i hit it again dude this super close cb hitting different let's see if i shot the stinger in the kill cam this time though I actually think I shot the Barrett three times that time instead of two. So it might even look... Oh, yeah, that looked even better, kind of. Okay. Oh, it didn't shoot the EMP again. I mean, shoot the Stinger again. But the EMP is literally right above him in the sky. It was, like, right there. That was fire. But yeah, guys, I'm personally happy with that shot. So we're going to move on to the Wa 2000 now. Once again, I don't know a map, but we'll see soon. All right, what should I make for Wa 2000 class? I don't even know what to use on this. No, I kind of want to go with no camo. Why do I feel like no camo goes crazy on the Wa, kind of? Uh, I do have a lot of custom ones that I should use, but... You know what, fuck it, it's a private match video, no camo. And you know what, for a secondary, I'm gonna throw on... You know what, I'm gonna throw on the Magnum Akimbo, why not? Afghan s &D, fuck it, I'm down for some Afghan. Are all my game rules good? Yes, sir. Alright, private match, let's go. Alright, let me UFO to my spot, because I'm too lazy to run up there. There we go. I'm gonna save the bot to crosshairs right down there. Hey, good enough, come on, get on the wall, get on the wall. Hey, there we go. You know what, I'm not a big wrist twister, so maybe I'll try to hit like a quad wrist twist can swap over the top on the bounce. That'd be cool. Oh, that could be fire if I shot over the top. You guys are definitely going to watch me struggle with this one because I'm not a wrist twister at all. 
Oh yeah, I can't even hit the bounce if I'm doing wrist twists and spinning. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, if I had aimbot a little bit higher, I think I have it on super close. That actually could have hit. Oh my god, that was perfect. If I shot a little more to the left. Oh my god, I haven't hit the bounce in so long now. What the hell? Am I washed? Do I need to... Maybe I need to jump on it first, but I don't know. The spinning on that one looked pretty ugly, even though it looked like it could have hit. Alright, no more spinning onto it. I need to actually... Oh, wait. Oh, I fucked that one up. It was kind of ugly the way I spun and, like, lined it up. Didn't even hit anyway. Oh, my God. That one didn't hit. I think I know the trick is I need to uh, not spin onto the bounce, really. Not, like, start spinning until I know I'm going to hit it. Like... Oh my god, I messed up the third one, but... Oh, did I hit the bounce there? Did I just walk off the top of it? If I hit the bounce, that looked really clean. But for some reason, I feel like I was just like hovering in the air there for a second. Like, did I hit the bounce? I literally can't even tell. Why do I feel like I was just like hovering? I don't know. I feel like I have to hit that again. What the hell? I've gone for a whole lot of wrist twists. My fingers are starting to hurt. My wrist is actually starting to twist in real life. Oh, come on, yo. How doesn't that just bop him? I don't want to have to upgrade the EB again. I think close is, like, perfect. Oh, there we go. But I think I missed second wrist twist. We'll see in kill cam, though. We will see in kill cam. Okay. One, two. Oh, my God. I missed the second and third. Damn it. I need to re-hit. But, oh, the can swap over the top looks beautiful. A1. All right, come on. This is the round. I can already tell. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's go. First try of that round with the headshot, too. The oh, wow. I can't talk right now. The reload. I think the cool can swap or the clean can swap. All four wrist twists. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. Let's go. All right, so for my M21 class, I actually already know what I want to hit with it because this is a shot I've been going for online with the M21. I'm going to throw on the digital camo for the MW3 winter camo. One of my favorites of all time. For the secondary, going to hit it with the young RPG. And then, wait, where is it? Okay, there we go. RPG. And then I have to make sure, yep, I need this class with the TAR-21 holographic and the shotgun attachment. You know what? I don't really know why, but I want to put this one on fuel because this is a map that I've been trying to hit the shot online. So fuck it. Fuel it is. All right, so I'm going to start out with that TAR-21 class that I was talking about. Oh, I'm gonna teleport up top real quick. Gotta love the UFO mode. Now I'm gonna drop this weapon right up here. Oh, I fell off the edge. I need to actually stay up there though. That's one problem. So let me drop my Tower 21 right there. Perfect. And now let me change on over to my M21 RPG class. Oh, not that one. Hold on. Uh, this one. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna get the can swap with the M21 real quick. Perfect. Perfect. Gonna make sure the EB is on super close real quick. Hold on. There we go. And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm shooting my RPG and I'm picking up the TAR-21 at the same time. So it like doesn't really, well, it looks like I RPG fast swap to it in the kill cam. And then I'm taking out my master key attachment or my shotgun attachment and I'm master key knacking back over to my M21 and it's going to be a smooth can swap out of that. So here, let me try to demonstrate that real quick. Oh yeah, I throw a throw knife throw in as well. So I'm going to, there we go. Oh my God, I did it first try, but I need to shoot over the wall and actually hit the dude over there. Oh my god, I shot off. I think I need to put the guy more over there. Like, yeah, on the tank would be perfect, actually. Safe to crosshairs right there. Hey, let's go. And let's get it. Oh, that'd be perfect right over the top like that. Oh my god, that would have been dope. I'm pretty sure that was like a last bullet of the clip. Oh, it was. For the master key, that is. Gotta get the ammo back. Get the can swap. There we go. Make sure this is all... Yep, one bullet left in that. Perfect, perfect. Oh my god. This is the most annoying part of it for sure. Alright. Let's see this try. Oh my god, that is perfect. Alrighty. Come on. That was so perfect over the top. Like, I know I said that every try, but how doesn't that hit, actually? Oh, there we go. I think I finally hit it. The only thing is, I don't even think I got the can swap with the tar. I think it went right to the shotgun attachment because I did it like too quick. Yeah, I did. Oh my god. But hey, it still looked pretty clean. 
Oh my god, the aimbot didn't even like look like it was on him. How does that one hit, but the rest of those didn't hit? Make that make sense. You know what? I'm kind of sick of going for that shot. You guys saw what I was going for, and eventually I'm gonna hit it online. So in the meantime, I'm gonna hit a little variation of what I was going for, but definitely not the same shot. I know I probably should just call it after that shot, but I'm pissed that the tower 21 can didn't show up. That was like one of the main parts of the shot. Like, come on now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a can right here. Perfect with the tar, and then back to the M21. I'm gonna get the can with this and then yup perfect i'm gonna hit it with a little adalia if i can get the adalia down this is the shot i'm now hitting what come on i don't know how the last one hit but this one like come on but yeah no rpg in this shot taking out the whole rpg and just throwing in an adalia with the tar instead or with the master key instead i mean what i got robbed at gunpoint, at M21 EBR point. Pfft. Yeah, right, guys. I'm convinced the EB is broken in this, not gonna lie. Pfft. I even tried scoping it. What? There we go. I finally hit the shot that I was going for. I mean, it didn't take that much to hit the second shot, but that first one kind of kicked my ass, not gonna lie. All right, little Adelia, Master Key Nax, Smooth Can. Over the wall. Yeah, it looked pretty dope, not gonna lie. I really like how that came out, actually. And boys, that was shot number four. I've hit with all four snipers now, so let's see if I... Yeah, I have a class of Intervention. Barret. Do I have a Wah? Oh, I don't think I have the Wah. But I hit with all four of those, including the Intervention, Barret, Wah, and M21 EBR. Now I can finally type slash disconnect and get the hell out of this game. And that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time more than you know. If you enjoyed this MW2 trick shotting action, please make sure to drop a like rating on the video and drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know, one, if you want to see more private match, but two, what your favorite shot or part of today's video was. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I do upload Call of Duty trick shotting videos daily, and I also upload on my second channel a lot. So if you're not subscribed to either of those, please make sure to do so by clicking the red subscribe button and so that you don't miss any uploads please make sure to turn post notifications on as well by clicking the little bell icon and changing personalized to all once you do that you should be getting all my notifications so you shouldn't miss any uploads in the future and actually i don't know if you guys know how youtube is but it can be really buggy at times so to actually make sure that you don't miss anything please make sure to follow me over on twitter as well my ad is just NECA, but it'll be in the description as well i tweet every time i upload go live need help with an upload looking for someone to play with etc so if you guys have ever wanted to like be in one of my videos or anything or just come say what's good but it was definitely the place to do so. Also in the description, you can find my TikTok and my community Discord. I'm active on both of those pretty regularly. So yeah, if you have an account on either of those, come drop me a follow on TikTok, come join the community Discord, meet some new trick shotters, and have a good time. Like I said in the beginning, this video wasn't a stream highlights video, but I actually do make a bunch of stream highlight videos playing with my viewers. I actually stream this game every other night, so if you've ever wanted to be in any of my uploads or anything, come join up the stream sometime and hit some shots. But yeah, I believe I said everything I need to say today. New UC merch drop next week, UrbanCrewStore.com. Got four new designs dropping on 720, but yeah, besides that, I think I've promoted everything I need to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I appreciate your time. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload. Peace out, everyone. Neck out.